G'day everyone and welcome to Brushes with Beck. I've just got a pretty quick video for you guys this week of a, well not even a complete drawing, a partial drawing of a butterfly that I started on Cants and Matons paper. Now for this one I'm using mostly polychromos, Faber-Castell polychromos colour pencils, but I did use a little bit of Derwent drawing pencils. Now the reason this is only a partial drawing is really because I thought this would be a lot quicker to do than what it was and I had a pretty tiring week so I didn't end up with a lot of time and I simply just ran out of time to finish this before I needed to upload this video. So the reason it took so much time is because there's a lot of different little segments. As you can see I'm filling in some of those brighter colours on this butterfly. I'm putting in the bright blues, yellows and greens on the wing and getting those markings mapped in and laid down nice and brightly before I lay in the dark colours around those markings. I thought it would be much easier to lay in those bright colours and get them down first before I put the black in. And those bright colours can act as sort of a guide for how dark I need to go with some of the black areas and comparison to some of the, the lighter shades of the black in this piece. So it is quite a complicated piece and not so much in terms of detail because I'm being pretty pretty minimal with detail and simply because the size I have chosen for this piece isn't really conducive to lots of detail. Um, just for me personally, so I thought it would just be a good idea to focus on colour and value, a little bit of detail, but I'm not doing like all the scales on the butterfly wings or anything. So I'm just going through with my range of colours there, so a few different greens, some of the really bright greens and bright blues that I haven't actually used yet, so that was a kind of a nice thing while drawing this butterfly is being able to use some colours from my Faber-Castell Polychromos set that I hadn't actually used yet. So just as I said just working in those bright areas and mapping out all those vibrant colours before you can see me going in with the blacks and greys there for the wings and that really makes it stand out quite quickly and I can easily lay in some sort of little black scales like little details um, over the top of the colours versus if I laid down the black first and then I needed to change the shape or add in some little brighter colours over the top that's not as easy so it's just easier to do those brighter patches first and then go in with my darks. Now the wing itself although it's black with the light hitting it there's only some areas that are really rich dark black and others that are more of a, a reddish tone um, so what I've done is I've gone in with I believe it's cinnamon and caput mortem first before going in with my black and also dark sepia and sometimes a little bit of warm grey. So just to build up variances in value and colour tone and to get the, the impact of the light hitting the wing and lighting it up in different ways and illuminating different colours on those wings. So that took a little bit of time to build up and mostly the time was spent working around those bright patches of colour that I had already drawn and that really is the time consuming part of this piece. It's not so much that it's super detailed, it's simply that there's a lot of different segments to work through versus working on say the face of a dog or a cat that is all one colour. You can sort of go through and work through sections quite quickly because you're not having to stop and start with different colours all the time. So it was a little bit time consuming but it came together pretty really pretty well. Now as I said I haven't finished this piece and um, I've only done, I haven't even finished the wing, I've done most of the wing so my apologies for that and um, Jasiri also was keen to help out on this one as you can see. Um, but I thought I would share it with you anyway because you know you can see sort of what progress I've made and then I can share the rest of it with you in another video. And besides I didn't really have a lot to say about this one so I didn't want to make it too long for this first video. I thought I'd make it nice and quick because I don't have a lot to say about it. I just as, as like most other things just working slowly building up some layers and building up colours from underneath from lightest to darkest in most cases. 
So I realized here I forgot to do one of the little colored patches, so I had to add that in first before I went in with the black. But thank goodness I noticed that my mistake on that and I didn't actually leave that one out. So overall, I am enjoying this one. I'll be interested to see what it looks like when it all comes together at the end and I've got more of the black in and obviously the body in as well. But yeah, it's coming together pretty well. Um, not quite as refined as I would like, but like I said, it is a very small piece. It's half A4, so there's not a lot of room for lots and lots of detail. And maybe that's just my personal preference for this piece. I wasn't aiming for something highly detailed. I would love to do more larger, more detailed works, but sometimes I simply cannot find the time. So I have to work on a lot of smaller pieces that may not have quite as much detail in them. But in any case, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more colour pencil pieces from me and, and more in-depth videos and detailed videos with full colour pencil pieces, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do upload a new video every single week, uh, either of a drawing or some colour pencil tips or product reviews. So please subscribe to my channel for that. Comment down below if you like this video and give it a thumbs up and you will see more from me and this piece in the coming weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.